let me just ask you, um, how would you state his, uh, his thesis, if, if you can? You know, Mark Taylor's. God, Mark Taylor's thesis in After God, and uh, what do you think of it? That's a direct question. So, I think, I mean, that's, that's as a, you... I as that's you, like asking you about TDQ, yeah. you know, it, it, I can't just give you one sentence, Doug, sorry. So I know, I mean, that's an incredibly sort of complex book, but one thing he is doing in that book is showing how religions are, f the way he defines religion is that religion both sort of constructs symbolic systems of meaning and that's, that's important. So he's, he's in a sense affirming the importance of religion in the history of humanity, that it provides a sort of, but, but also he says religion at the same time is also deconstructing. That religion goes through sort of a process of constructing and then deconstructing. And so an example of that would be, you know, someone like um, a sort of Martin Luther, right, who is in a sense creating a new sort of vision of Christianity, Protestantism, at the same time he is critiquing and deconstructing Catholicism. And so that what he sort of talks about is that religions are always doing that. So in a sense, the reason I like Taylor, to some extent, in what I'm doing in the Divine Quest, is because he's verifying exactly what I'm talking about, that, re that religions are always in this process of evolution and adapting to new social, scientific, economic, political contexts, that religions are always evolving in that sense. And that's the danger, you know, going back to reification, that, that we think religions are one thing and stay one thing, then we're missing the whole sort of adaptive process, and that that adaptive process is not necessarily something that's bad. So what Taylor is, is doing is creating a definition of religion that sort of shows how religion both constructs in that way, but also at the same time deconstructs, and that that's sort of a natural sort of process, um, not necessarily something bad. So, you know, after God, he is, he is deconstructing in a sense, our received sort of classical theistic understanding of God. But at the same time in that book, he is constructing or offering another kind of vision of God that is quite different in some ways. But that's precisely what he's trying to do in the book. And by and large, I mean, his theology I find pretty convincing. Well, I, I, I want to say, um, just to you as a friend, I, I'm, I'm, re I'm 50 more pages, and so much of what he says, I, thought about and haven't read anywhere else. He, he writes so clearly, his summaries are excellent. And, um, you know, so uh, I think it's, I think it's, uh, he's, he also is, is deconstructing postmodernism too. And, yeah. You know, it's a, nobody's safe in, in exactly. that scenario. 